All right, guys, welcome back. Today we have something special for you. It's another unboxing video. Hey, hey! No, seriously, it is an unboxing video because today I have five boxes from Pure Motorsport. If you don't know who is Pure Motorsport and or what is Pure Motorsport, I highly suggest check out the link below. Go to them. They are the absolute best gurus in all Renault, Clio, Megan, whatever, you know, you, you name it. Uh, anything from brake parts, suspension components, uh, engine builds and anything. Um, legendary. So I have the full shabam for my Clio because I am building the fastest one and it has to be the fastest. And uh, as far as I remember, Nick's Clio used to be pretty, pretty fast. Anyways, enough of chit chat. Let's have a look what I have. That's a good one! Where do I start? Where do I start? We have five huge boxes. Let's just put some on the floor so we can open one by one and I'll run you through. Um, this is an unboxing video, but also this is kind of a preview of what to expect in the next couple of Episodes, I guess, because I will be fitting all of this to my Clio in the next couple of months, getting ready for 2021 season. Um, because I, I, I was always planning to do this anyways, um, but um, I did not plan to do it this soon. But fortunately, I guess, after Cadwell, whatever happened when uh, the wheel came off, <laughs> Obviously, I had to take the whole suspension apart and I can show you what was the issue. Well, the issue was that the, 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 the studs, they snapped. Why they snapped? Totally my fault because my torque wrench, my torque wrench at 110 newtons, when you have it on there, it's actually torquing at 79 newtons. So they were under torqued. I didn't know that. And I didn't check them in the morning. I thought I did, but I was too excited to go back for the second day. Yeah, so the, the, just the nut got undone and then the wheel just snapped and whatever. And um, this is my roll center correction kit thing. It just bent um, the main pin ever so slightly. So obviously this is not usable. The wheel is trashed, um, need new studs. So effectively, not that many things uh, went wrong really. So it's all fully repaired, but I had to sort of take everything apart over the shock, so the whole thing is 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 in bits. So we ordered some special parts from Pure Motorsport. Oh my god, I'm already seeing it. Um, I have a list right in front of me because it is quite a big list. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, 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 this is pornography. Oh, guys, this is pornography. Oh, my Lord. This is better than porn. Honestly, Pornhub, pff, pff, Rusky Well shit here. Well, actually, not Rusky Well shit, uh, pure motorsport. No, actually, not even pure motorsport because they don't make this. They supply this AP Racing Pro 5000R. And I'll let you a little secret. Pure Motorsport supply this complete kit now for your clear 172, 182. Uh, basically, they use their own 300 mil disc. It's a two-piece disc and they use those calipers and they fit under 15-inch wheels. Um, the reason why they're selling this kit is because um, I asked Nick to, to make me a kit like that because I wanted to use those calipers. So he machined um, and designed and machined the, the special um, adapter that um, bolts onto the, the hub itself, um, the, the brake lines and everything. So now you can uh, go and uh, purchase this kit for, for your own car. Um, it's not the cheapest of kits, uh, but, but, I mean, it's AP racing. There are four pot calipers. Um, I'm not going to bore you with... Uh, with all the technical aspects of it, but I'm sure you can Google it. But, oh, oh, this is just pure feel. So we have two of those calipers. We have custom uh, brake lines, again, courtesy of Pure Motorsport. Nick designed it, so it's all, so it's a literally a bolt-on so it's a bolt-on kit for your Clio now. I will leave a link 
to the specific kit in the description so you don't just go to pure motorsport website and you endlessly scroll actually maybe that's a good thing maybe that's a good thing and by the way i don't get um any commission for for selling all this stuff uh, i paid for this stuff so i'm just recommending you pure motorsport because half of my car literally at some stage it, it has all the parts from pure motorsport another another thing is custom um wheel spacers those are 10 mil and as you can see, because I'm going to be running uh, super wide, well, not super wide, but the um, eight and a half inch wide wheels. And uh, basically those are specific for those wheels and my hub. And so we don't have to worry about the spigot rings and uh, things like that. You know how much we hate them. And those are, those are the brackets. I mean, look at the details, look at the details, pure. You see, I mean, Nick surely knows how to present you with a good quality product. I mean, all the bolts are high tensile and everything. So, so that's my break kit. That is just porn, isn't it? That is just pure filth. Ah, this is amazing. Bloody well, Christmas came early, didn't it? Okay, let's open another box. What's in this box? One, two, boom, boom. Thank you, Nick. Um, yes, those are actually the correct size because the last stickers he sent me, they were too small. And of course, I want to show them off because I like the motorsport. Okay, let's open another box. What's in here? What's in here? Oh, okay. To be like, so what is this? What is this, Rusky? You will see in a second. You will see in a second. I mean, I can tell you what it is. It's, um, I'm reading, I, obviously I know. Adjustable wishbones. You'll probably be like, why? You already have wishbones that are reinforced and everything. Yes, but I want to run a lot more caster with my wider wheels, they have to come out a bit more forward. And obviously with this, oh yeah, oh yeah. Another new stud, um, nut and stud kit. Amazing. Because obviously my old one, oh, see? That's what separates a good company from some uh, eBay, crappy place that you probably buy it cheaper i mean not only pure motorsport they state the the the, the strength the composition where they get the metal and who manufacture they they give you the loctite in a box with it the correct one so you don't about so you don't go and use some some generic stuff you had in the garage and then you know the shit gets undone and you're like oh my god what happened this what happened okay another box Oh, I'm loving this. I'm loving this too much. Let's have a look. Let's let's try and not make this video too. Ooh, ooh. Okay, new bolts. Ah, oh, this just looks amazing. Bolts. One, two. Okay. We can only take one because we don't need to take another one. I have AST 5100s. Oh, they are so amazing. AST 5100s on my car currently and I rate them very highly. So in order to run the, the new um, Laguna hubs um, with, uh, with a wishbone kit, I needed to weld because they're 65 mil uh, spacing. So I needed to weld this thing. I mean, of course I could have welded it myself, but I found um, a broken set of ASTs. I know, right? Um, so they were reconditioned by AST and they were welded by um, Pure Motorsport again. So, I mean, 
it kind of cheating. Of course, I could have done it myself, but I had to, to send them to AST anyways to refurbish them because they were all rusted on the inside. Again, I could have done it myself, but they are professionals and, you know, look at that. And I already took my shock of the car. Here we are. Here's my old shock. Here's the new one. And you can compare. You see, 65 mil, and this thing is a lot beefier. See, so it will fit seamlessly. And this shock, actually, is extremely easy to take it apart. You undo the big nut, and then it just unscrews from the body itself, like that. Boom. And you just slot this thing with a, with a bump stop inside the new shock. I'm not going to do it now. We will do it later when it comes to it. So let's just hide this. But yeah, Nick, if you're watching this, I mean, I know you told me that. Yeah, you can weld it yourself. I mean, yeah, I can weld it myself, but damn, that is sexy. I mean, check this out. Well impressed, well impressed. I could, I could have never done it like that myself, honestly. So yeah, give credit where credit is due, 100%. Oh yes, it's amazing. It's just too much, too much fun opening boxes and unboxing. Um, this is a big one. What do we have in here? Yeah, honestly, it's almost like Christmas for me as well. Unknown because I, as far I know the list, but every time I open something, I'm like, ooh, a new one, ooh, a new one. Those are Laguna hubs. There is a bit of a controversy and stuff. Um, some people say, why, why use the Laguna hub? Uh, you know, it's, it's, you know, the original one is good, but I have it on good authority that the original hub is not as strong as the Laguna one. Um, this part specifically, it can deform and bend under really high loads. So it's, it's just better and beefier and the bearing is is bigger so when you're really pushing the car you know you kind of want every little helps kind of thing also for the roll center you see this yes there is no cutout so there is no pinch bolt so this is basically how normal cars have them you have your bolt joint that go through this big solid piece of metal and then you have a nut on the back so there is no play in it. And that's the reason why uh, roll center correction kits can snap because, because of that very reason. Oh, they look so good. They look very good. Blasted, zinc coated, and uh, all of that good stuff with a new nut and everything. I am loving this. All right. And now, pièce de résistance. Yes, there is these stones. The main component of this whole... In all fairness, this is where it all started. When I first contacted Nick from PU Motorsport. Because like I said, I pretty much have, have had everything from them. So every time I look on their website, I'm like, ooh, what else do I want? And uh, this is one of the things that I always wanted. And I'm sure I can probably make it myself, but, you know, research and development and everything. Um, and those are the wishbones. Um, okay, let's take them out of the box. So we can have a look at them. One, two, three, four. I don't want to open 
all of them because there is absolutely no need they are identical so we can open this trying to move really oh yeah yes look at that this is nice so yeah obviously it's uh, rose jointed and um, I'm not even gonna assemble it here for you now but you can see so it's fully adjustable with uh, with length so you can do the width the caster and the the whole the whole the whole the whole range of movements and it comes with its own roll center correction kit as well yeah and you see what i said before about yeah let's start losing things what i said before you see it's a it's a huge bolt 12.9 you see it goes through the thing like that then you have your spacer and it goes like that with a bolt straight through I mean can you see this sort of snapping I mean if this snaps you have some other problem somewhere and obviously it's easy it's easy to take apart and everything um just a bit of loctite and bob is your uncle um what else what else oh you know what that's almost it no actually one more thing one more thing before before i let you guys go and watch a video from misha for example about the uh, gr yaris which is by the way really really good apparently he actually told me himself yes yes he did you know as bloggers we know each other um nice very nice all tig welded and everything that's basically the plate that you weld onto your existing subframe um i'm not i can't remember which side this is i think this is i'll need to have a look left or right um but yeah you sort of weld it on and your Jesus and your thing attaches to the new mounting points and surprisingly this is quite light you know very nice it's very nice so so I think that's it so on the list we have refurbished ASTs and strut to AST combat adjustable strut mounting plates well done above the there custom made wheel spacers laguna hubs we have um, uh, adjustable wishbone package we have bump steer adjustment kit which is this we have the AP calipers ah you'll be asking like where are your brake discs yes the brake discs are coming um, there is nothing uh, special I think I think he was just out of stock he said give me a week it's not like I'll need them tomorrow um, which is absolutely fine um, yeah guys yeah Christmas came early so unbelievable I am really enjoying this so yeah um, yeah thank you very much for watching this unboxing video I will see you in next two or three episodes while I'll be fitting all of this um, and again thank you so much to Nick from Pure Motorsport for supplying all of this and creating me um, a big break AP Racing 5000R kit that actually fits under 15 inch wheels um, which is amazing amazing um, yeah I'll see you in the next one guys bye don't forget to subscribe and if you like this video click like um, but also if you didn't like this video if you you probably if you didn't like this video chances are you're not going to be watching this right at the end hmm. anyways leave me a comment tell me that no mate we don't want to see any more unboxing videos give us raw 
racing or something else. Um, I'll still be making unboxing videos because they are exciting and people want to see what I have and bought and stuff like that because this is what we do when we modify cars. We buy parts and we fit parts. So, anyways, yeah, it's getting a bit too long. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.